All right, guys, so I just got done with my first mow of the year. Um, I didn't video it because you know what mowing looks like. Um, but after the mow, I was thinking, considering the temperature and everything, it's probably a good time to start throwing down some fertilizer. I haven't done my prodiamine yet. I'm doing that tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, which is why I'm doing prodiamine. So I'm thinking maybe I should throw down some fur today. Um, <clears throat> I know you typically want to wait until your temps are a little higher, but my grass is growing pretty aggressively right now. So, I mean, here's what I got. So I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but as you can see, this is the old X Green uh, 818. Um, you can see all the stuff on there. I'll read it out later or something. But uh, what I'm going to do, based on my soil analysis, um, I'm going to do five pounds of that per thousand. It's gonna give me something like 0.41 pounds of nitrogen on the ground, uh, which is obviously more than acceptable for a uh, spring fertilization. But um, that bag does not have any, any uh, rates for a spreader. And uh, while we're talking about spreaders, let me uh, give a shout out to Brandon Mitchell of Bushley Lawns, he sent me this, um, and this has got to be the nicest spreader I've ever owned. Uh, if you guys remember, from last year I was using a little Scott's Basic that I had borrowed from somebody, it wasn't even mine, um, but I own this now, so this is amazing. It even has an edge guard, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so how, uh, if there's no rate or there's no nothing on the label to say, Oh, do you have a Scots Pro with an edge guard? Okay, then you, you do this, do this setting. Um, none of that's here. So let's talk about how you would be able to calculate it yourself. Okay, first let me go ahead and apologize for the mess. I'm doing some cleaning and renovation here in the garage. Um, so, like I said, let me get that on there. My rate, uh, my planned rate is going to be five pounds per thousand square feet, right? And you saw my sprayer calibration video where I had marked out a thousand square feet. So why don't I just weigh out five pounds and see how I can spread it over a thousand square feet. Now, um, as you can see on this spreader, just like every other Scott spreader, there's 15 settings. Um, so what I'm gonna do here with this particular uh, dial is I'm gonna start low based on the prill size of X screen, which we'll see here in a second, um, and then continuously turn up from there. Um, so yeah, we'll, let's, let's just measure. Okay, first of all, first of all, this is my first time opening X screen, and that prill size, um, by the way, this is a homogeneous fertilizer, which uh, if you didn't know what that means, that means everything's blended together, so every prill, has the same stuff but first of all look at that that's beautiful and it smells like more lorganite mixed with candy it really does smell amazing this smells way better than lorganite this cell smells way more like success um, I'm just gonna take a while with this cap let me find something else now right, this is gonna take a while so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna Put this on the ground and dump some in there. Okay, where are we at? Jeez. Okay, now we're over. So let me figure this out here. All right, five pounds on the nose. And geez, like I said, look at this stuff. It's like playing with like that super fine graded sand. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, like I said, this is a normal Scott spreader. So considering how fine this is, I'm gonna start as low as I can go. You see that? Yeah. That's uh this is a mega ultra fine thing. Ooh. Fertilizer dust. Don't breathe this. 
Okay, so let's take a look in there. So I'd say it's pretty well spread out. So we're not gonna have any issues there. All right, I'm gonna do it. Like it says there, number two. And uh, I guess I'll film it, why not? And I got the camera, so let's go. You can recall the corners were there. There's one over here. There's one right here where that concrete line is. And then one over here on, on this corner. So uh, let's just spread and see what happens. So on a two, I basically had to do uh, like two and three quarters passes. I'm gonna call it three passes. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is on uh, on everything else, and I'm just gonna wing it. I'm not gonna prepare or anything like that because I'm gonna do that. Um, and yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm just whatever. <laughs> um, You might notice that this cleaned up. I finally cleaned it up. Anyway, so I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is logic would dictate dictate if I had to do two passes, then I would take that two to a four. Because, again, logic would dictate that if a two is open you know, this far, then a four is open double, where a six is open triple. So since I had to do, uh, I'm going to call it two and a half passes, I think I'm going to go to four and a half, see how that goes. Uh, leave a comment if you think that's stupid. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to do the rest. And uh, that's basically this whole video. <laughs> it's just trying that out, seeing what happens. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm too close. I can't tell my framing. Um, whatever. Um, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. Yada, yada, yada. See you guys.